talking to you about my 14 Bravo Tomcat from VF103, the Jolly Rogers. I was uh, wearing my Jolly Rogers tribute shirt. Um, this is a 148 scale model. It was manufactured by Hobby Boss. Um, good build, lots of good detail. Um, built it several years ago. But I'm going to be going over some of the uh, pros and cons of this kit, also showing you the finished product, uh, kind of talking to you about some of the things that I did with the kit, um, some of the changes that I made, some of the parts that I ordered to make it look a little bit more realistic than, uh, than what was actually in the kit. Um, and uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. This is a 148 scale Hobby Boss F14 Bravo Tomcat model. It is built in the VF103 Jolly Rogers um, Library paint scheme. Now this uh, particular model came with the VF103 uh, markings. However, on the tail of the aircraft, the markings had the uh, what they called the Santa bones. Um, when I was in VF-103 Jolly Rogers. We did that at Christmas time. And that was um, a Santa Claus hat was on the top of the skull and instead of the crossbones they were crossed candy canes. Now I wanted to uh, build the one, the version, without being the, the Christmas theme. So I actually made the skull and crossbone uh, decal to go on this aircraft. Um, and I made the victory stripe that uh, goes on the drop tanks. Like this image off of the internet. And I'll kind of explain a little bit how I did that process. Um, it really was just trial and error, trying to get everything correct. But uh, as you can tell, it turned out fairly well. Now some of the things that I did to this kit um, that are uh, added on, uh, added the FLIR pod over here on the uh, right wing, right uh, glove of the uh, the aircraft. Um, the ordnance load that's on the aircraft is, is a little different than what came with the, uh, with the kit. It has a set of metal probes, um, the alpha probe on the nose here, and the probes that are on the sides are uh, out of a kit. Um, and I think that I actually did a, a, a bit of a detail kit inside the, uh, the cockpit as well. I added the GPS antenna in the middle of the turtle back. And there's some other modifications that I did. I don't remember if this kit came with drop tanks or not. Um, I've got several F-14 Tomcats and I know the Ravel kits did not come with drop tanks. So I ended up ordering a lot of drop tanks at the time because uh, I knew I was going to be building several kits and uh, like I said I don't recall if this was one of them that had the drop tanks or not. The wings on this model will sweep. Now one of the things that I don't necessarily like about this is unlike the Ravel model kits um, if one wing if one wing moves on the Ravel kits they both will move. They're actually geared together the Hobby Boss kit, um, they are not connected at all. Um, now the nice thing about the Hobby Boss kit is that it has rubber tires. Uh, it doesn't slide around when you set it down. Um, there is plenty of detail on the kit, as you can tell. Um, the exhaust nozzles look decent. Um, now I'm not a master model builder. Uh, I consider myself to be somewhat of a novice, but um, for what this kit is, for what it had in it, definitely really happy with it. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, nice deep intakes. Uh, they actually have what appears to be General Electric F-110 uh, compressors uh, instead of uh, the likeness of a TF-30 which uh, most of the models, uh, the, all of the Ravel kits, they look like TF-30 um, 
compressors uh, on the inside. And I, I don't really like that because uh, being in the Navy working on Tomcats as long as I did, um, I definitely know the difference. Uh, I was a jet engine mechanic and like I said, I was in this squadron and by far uh, the F-110 engine in my opinion was uh, leaps and bounds better than the TF-30. But anyway, so that's the finished product. I hope that uh, you enjoy taking a look at my 148 scale VF-103 Jolly Roger F-14 Tomcat. Good build, lots of good detail. Uh, it was a difficult, a good build, lots of detail. Hello, welcome to another edition of Ed's Models. Welcome to another edition of Mad Hatter Models. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the 148 scale Hobby Boss F14 Bravo Tomcat. Uh, it was a nice kit. Um, built it several years ago, but I'm going to be going over some of the uh, pros and cons of this kit. Also showing you the finished product, uh, kind of talking to you about some of the things that I did with the kit, um, some of the changes that down I after at the if you have questions or comments please leave them down at the bottom below the video and uh, as usual thanks for watching hope you enjoy it